I am hoping that this video reaches the mayor of Abbotsford um, because I know that the homelessness and the drug addicts is a huge problem in the city and I'm not I'm not stupid like I know it's in every city um, I know it's like a huge problem but I'm just wondering um, how much money are us taxpayers paying each year in having city workers remove remove or move people that are homeless so I'm talking these people that are set up at parks schools um, parking lots you know uh, I get it that you can't just like camp in an actual like you know city park I, I understand that um, but what I'm wondering is how much money are we paying to have the workers remove these people every day I'm sure this happens every single day they get called to different spots they're literally just moving them they are not giving them a place or they're they're gonna find another place you understand that right like these these not just gonna like okay well I'm all of a sudden not homeless anymore like no the, they are homeless and they're just gonna find another place to set up and you and and us taxpayers are just gonna pay the city workers to do their job which is to kick them out of the current spot that they're at so they can get a new spot now I I think this is a huge problem because I see it all the time I see it outside my house um, I have an issue with this morning my youngest son he is four and I'm taking him to school and he literally is on the school grounds and steps on a needle now luckily for us he was wearing shoes and the needle was not faced up it was on its side um, so he didn't actually step on the needle part he stepped on the, the plastic part um, but still as a parent that's terrifying and I acted fast like there was no time to sit there and take my kids to school and la di da no like I legit went to my son's school and I told the teacher I got the tongs and I picked it up ASAP like there was no time as soon as I saw it it was getting picked up like this is a huge problem so I feel like to stop this from happening could we not give them a, a, a space where they can kind of hang out if they don't want to conform to society's rules of like living in a house then why are we still paying to I understand get to clean up after them I get that let's clean up after them because they may be making a mess we don't need messes around the city but why are we paying to have them moved like can we not get and I'm not saying give them prime real estate like oceanfront property you know I'm saying why can't we find a space for them that they that they can be is, is there not a, a, a place like <laughs> possibly by a police station you know not far from a police station would be ideal in case that the police officers do get called out they're not far um, you know I just there's it just doesn't make sense to me why are we spending money essentially kicking these people out of city property like is there not a space that they can go like tent city like can we not have a space for them it, it it does it makes more sense can you hear me I know this is crazy it makes more sense to have a certain area all like down there oh yeah that's that's the tent land you know um, and the staff from the city they go and they remove the garbage and yes the police are still called out because 
that's what happens. You can't stop that either. But at least it's one area. At least it's not all over the place. And I just think that it makes more sense to pay to have them clean up and remove the garbage, you know, every few days rather than literally paying to kick people out where they're just going to go somewhere else. Like how much money of our tax dollars are spent with the city going around kicking people out of where they're staying? And can we not find a place that we can all kind of come to agreement of with where they can go and they can be and they won't get kicked out, you know, and it can be monitored by the police and it doesn't have to be the best place in, in the city, you know, it could be by the the railroad. I mean, it could be, it could be a noisier place. It doesn't have to be like, you know, like right, right by the lake or something like you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm a little bit heated right now because my kid stepped on a needle and whether it's my kid or someone else's kid, it's not okay. And I feel like they need a place because who thinks to themselves, Hey, I'm going to go shoot up in a school ground. Like maybe if they had a place to be, you know, they wouldn't be in our kids schools just a thought and you can't blame the school you really can't the teachers the principal are amazing they do go out there they they check every single morning they check the school grounds but can they check every square inch of every single school ground no they cannot they do their best and quite honestly they didn't put those needles there so it's it's not their fault. Like to, to put the blame on the school district or the school or the, the teachers or the principal, ridiculous. Like, no, that's unacceptable. Like we need to figure out a plan to fix this huge problem. And not doing nothing about it is not a good enough plan. I know you can't make them all get clean. I get that. I know you can't just give them all homes. But is there a space that they are allowed to be is there can we can we get a space for them that they're not going to get kicked out of that'd be fantastic thank you bye bye